hi everybody and welcome back or welcome if you are new my name is Megan and over to this side of me where you can't see is my service dog in training Sandy come here come say hi she's decided to make an appearance <laughs> <laughs> so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how I organize all of her things and I also have a pet dog Mia she's in there <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I keep mostly sandy stuff but both of their stuff organized mia has a little section in the closet um for like her gear that i'm not going to get into because number one it's a mess right now and number two um that's more of my boyfriend's organization <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna leave that stuff alone and I'll show you guys their joint shared things and then I'll show you her stuff. So if you want to see a little bit more, um, hi, <laughs> about uh, like her gear, where I got a lot of her gear mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, um, you guys can check out the last video, which was a gear haul. Um, this video is kind of a continuation of that video. Um, so I can show you guys how I organize her gear. Um, without any further ado, let's jump into it. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna show you guys how I keep it organized, and then I'm gonna show you the organization in its home, um, with the exception of the stuff I'm about to show you. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the stuff that I keep in the kitchen mainly treats and such. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys um, all that stuff in its home because the pantry itself is kind of uh, very cluttered. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I keep this stuff organized without showing you its home. So the very first thing I have here is the medication box. Um, this is where I keep all the medications that they've ever had. Um, the thing that I use the most often in here is their monthly prevention. So we have Mia's Heart Guard and Next Guard, and then we have Sandy's Heart Guard and Next Guard. The reason I put them in little Ziploc baggies is because we get them a year supply at once which can be a lot of boxes and a lot of room and would pretty much take up this whole thing so I take them out of their boxes and just put them in the little ziplock baggies that way I don't have to worry about the big clunky boxes so that is the medication drawer the next thing is Sandy's daily supplements so this is where I keep her vitamins and stuff that she gives in her food every day Pretty simple, nothing special, just a little blue tub. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, the medication tub, this one, I think I got at Target, but I'm not 100% sure. And it was several years, ago, like six years ago. Next thing is the treat compartment. Um, they have a lot of treats, a lot of treats. So this is that, this has like training treats, it has um, normal treats, like little bones and such. It has chew treats, it even has some pill pockets that are unopened. Um, yeah, basically just treats. This container I got from uh, Five Below. And then the next thing I have is um, all their food puzzles. I keep them in this little 
Sterilite container um, and the drawer. It's a little finicky sometimes, but it comes out. Um, yeah, like I said, this is their treat puzzles and stuff. Basically enrichment. I have like the snuffle mat, their Kongs, um, a couple of actual puzzles. Um, we have some treat balls and yeah, some more like Kong type toys back there. So yeah, there's that. And then the last thing as far as kitchen department things are where I hold their food and treats. So the first one is this container right here. I got it off of Amazon, but I think they have it at Petco. It's either Petco or PetSmart. Anyways, this is where I keep their um, jerky type treats as well as like little milk bone crunchy type treats. Um, so yeah, they rarely get anything out of this, but it's good to have like a thing of treats ready to go just in case. And then the next one is this one. I got this from a um, small boutique type store in Granbury, Texas. Um, the store's name is Spellbound and then the brand is Furry Friends & Co. So that's the treat jar and then in this treat jar is all of their chews like bully sticks, um, little, you know, miscellaneous chews. We have mini bullies in here as well. Anyways, just chews in here. So there's that one. And then the last container I keep their actual food in. It is this loud. It's this little bucket right here. I got this from Kroger, I think. And um, yeah, it's uh, really handy to just take off the lid and scoop out some of their food. It's empty right now, I need to refill it, but you know, whatever. That's why it's so loud. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so hi, you're in the way. Okay, so the next things that I have to show you guys, can you move your bottom? Um, the next things I have to show you guys are these big drawer things. Um, this is where the majority of her stuff lives and I have two of them. One is on that side. So yeah, I'm gonna start up here and just work my way down and over. So the first thing I have is this pink bucket. This keeps mostly um, straps, like uh, pull straps, counterbalance, counterbalance handles, that kind of thing. Um, is mainly what it keeps and then I have a couple of other things in here for example I have a couple of toys in here that I don't want Sandy to have access to all the time and then I have just like some cute little things like this her little Halloween ear bobbers that she didn't get to wear <laughs> um, so yeah that's all that's in this bucket starting on these Sterilite containers. Oh my god, stop. No. Okay, so the first thing, the first drawer, is grooming supplies. Yay. So we have most of Sandy's like perfume sprays, um, all of Sandy's shampoos, um, conditioners. We have some wipes in here. Um, including like face wipes, like tear stain remover wipes. Um, I have some paw lotion in here, some dry shampoo, just basically every grooming thing <laughs> is in here. So yeah. The next drawer, this middle drawer here, is all of her working vests and harnesses. So on top, I keep the harnesses um, like as flat as possible. Let's try 
try to anyways. And then underneath those, I have all her vests. All of them are pretty much tri-folded and stacked in there. So, yeah, um, that's her working gear. The bottom drawer here is pretty much like leisure gear. Um, have all of her harnesses in here, um, her like clothes, like her t-shirts and stuff, as well as raincoats. Um, Rain coats, cooling coats, cold weather coats, um, yeah, all of her leisure gear is in here. I'm not gonna pull it all out, but you get the idea. Okay, and then next we have this little stackage of stuff. First thing, this basket still has the tag on it. <laughs> um, this little basket has all of her leash wraps in there. Um, we have acquired a few new ones since our gear haul, which are super cute. They're from Lucky Dog Gear on Instagram. I highly recommend. Anyways, leash wraps. Little basket. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I don't remember if I mentioned this, but all the little Sterilite containers, big Sterilite containers, I got from Target. And then these are patches and patch tabs. This first bucket is all of the um, patches that have like matches to them so that they're Velcroed to each other. And then the second bucket is patches that don't have a match so don't have a backing to them at all. It's just the patch itself. Um, we also have the little ID thing from our um, One Tigris Apollo harness cape thing has ADA cards in it and then our two little patch tabs are in here as well. These two I normally actually <laughs> these two I normally actually keep um, in the other container but I was just using them today so yeah. Okay, and then next thing is not really an organization thing. These are Sandy's clippers. They just kind of rest up here, um, but this is the container for them. Then we have another smaller Sterilite container that sits on the top of this. So the first drawer that we have here is all of Sandy's bows. Um, she has a lot of bows. A lot of bows. A lot of bows. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Bow city over here. The next little drawer here. I have, like, a lot of miscellaneous grooming stuff in here. So, the all of Sandy's clipper guards are in here, as well as a blow dryer, um, the cap to the blow dryer. I have um, all of the dental care stuff is in here. All of her toothpaste. Um, oral care spray and toothbrushes as well as a little pick to get any tartar off her teeth and several of these little finger toothbrushes. And then last thing I have in here are her um, temporary dyes for her tail that I use. Okay, and then the final drawer we have here is all of her grooming tools. So we have, um, these two are more for Mia. Um, we have a Furminator type brush. Um, I don't recommend this brush for double coated dogs um, because it tends to take out a lot of the top coat and you don't want that so short haired single coated dogs only. And then we have a grooming rake. Once again I would not recommend for double coated dogs. Um, 
and yeah this is one of my favorite grooming tools for Mia then we have her slicker brush this brush a couple of combs I used to have a flea comb which I would use um, for like the corners of her eyes where she would get eye boogies I don't know where it went story of my life um, I have her curved um, ball tip grooming shears as well as thinning shears two nail clippers a rubber brush to scrub shampoo and such and then I have their nail dremel which is one of my favorite tools as well and then in this top drawer here I have a lot of just miscellaneous things so I guess I'll show you guys um, so in here we have painted boots little boots they smell like Fritos Ew. so those are just her regular boots and um, then we have her rain boots I have her e collar charger and her e collar. This has her backup pair of boots in it as well as um, her like socks and such in there. I have two hand sanitizers that I like to clip onto her vest. Um, I have a collapsible bowl. I actually have another one in here. Yeah. Second collapsible bowl. Um, I have her. Baskerville muzzle. Um, she's never needed a muzzle, but I like it just in case she would ever need it. You never know. Um, this has like clips and carabiners and um, buttons and stuff in there. I also keep like extra prong links in here, as well as this little light for her collar. And then like her backup tags are in here as well. I have two sets of tags for her, so that and then we have a bunch of just like straps for things various things um this is a dog emergency kit that i got a while ago it basically just has um poop bags and various kinds of wipes as well as a collapsible water bowl in there here i have a treat pouch and in the treat pouch i have poop bag rolls i have two poop bag containers I have her cheap e collar, which I don't really use anymore. Um, her chain collar, a Nyla bone for training purposes. Um, I have like the boxes and manuals of her, both of her e collars in here. And then um, basically like cords and stuff for like her light up collars or her fit bark or you know, just various cords. <laughs> Um, and then last but not least, I just have this little squishy that I got from Lucky Dog Gear. I like to put this on her vest, so when she's doing DPT, I have something to fidget with. <laughs> this drawer right here, I am not going to empty out. It is all of her leashes and collars and traffic leads. So, there you go. That's the best look you're getting at that, because that is just way too much to pull out. Um, same thing with the next set of drawers. I will show you the sides of it, but there's way too much to pull out. Um, these are all of Sandy's bandanas. She has literally hundreds. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot going on here. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, so I'm sorry the lighting sucks and I'm sorry about the noise of the washer and dryer. Yes, my washer and dryer is in my bedroom. It's fine. Um, so this is my closet, my side of the closet anyways. It looks a mess, especially up there, but everything has a place and everything's in its place. Sorry, I had to change the angle. So this stuff over here, like I said, is, um, all the stuff that I just showed you guys and then moving over here 
This little S is for Sandy. I keep her yep collar harness hung on here just because I don't want it to get like smushed or anything. So underneath um, my nightside table here is Sandy's bed. I pull it out every night for her to sleep but I like to keep it tucked in during the day. Um, and then it's a pillow of her face which I got for Christmas a few years ago. As well as all of her toys in her toy box. This is just Sandy's. Mia's is in the living room. And then over here, all this stuff is my stuff, but then in this little container here, I have a bunch of like seasonal um, bandanas and scarves and stuff for Sandy. Um, they just don't really fit in the drawer, so everything stays in there. And then underneath that, I have a few um, folders and stuff and what this stuff is is um, her training journal is right here and then these two folders right here are Sandy and Mia's medical records so that's where those stay and then down here it's again not really a lot of Sandy stuff but this right here is for Sandy um, it's just a calming spray that I like to spray in her bed before nighttime sometimes for no reason other than to just make it smell nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it in the bedroom as far as Sandy's stuff goes. And I just want to point out right now how much I love my bed um, set up for Christmas time. It's so cute! And then last but not least, this is right as you're coming in the apartment. Um, I have some stuff up here. So this is just my bag that has all of Sandy stuff in it that I take with me every time I uh, take her somewhere, which is all the time. <laughs> I just keep that on top of this little basket right here. It has an M on it. Works for me and my boyfriend. And then underneath that, we just keep some blankets here. I like to keep these by the door just in case we're like going to like a picnic outing or something. I have a blanket to grab. And then I also like to keep some wipes here as well as the sanitizing spray just because we are in the times of COVID. So I don't want to be bringing her into public and then you know, letting her run back all over the apartment with the germs all over her so I like to keep those here and then just a washcloth in case she gets like muddy or anything and then last but not least this is not like a sandy thing but it kind of is so this is where like we keep our shoes and stuff that are obviously a mess wow so this top thing is just for my keys and my boyfriend's keys go here but he's not here right now and then got some masks there and then down here I have Sandy's raincoat which it is raining today so she will need this just keep that hung up there and then this right here is the uh, leashes that I use to take them outside to go potty I have a little poop bag container here that has a flashlight on it so I can take them out in the dark. And then this right here is Sandy's treat pouch. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to like unpack it from our outing today, but yeah, this is just her treat pouch and it stays hung up here. So yeah, that is our little setup there. And that's pretty much it with how I keep my dog stuff organized. I really don't have a ton of places in my apartment where their stuff is lying around. I like to keep it all consolidated in its own spots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you made it to the end. Um, and yeah, uh, also if you want, you can comment and let me know what is the thing that you struggled the hardest with in 
organizing either your pet dog or your service dog or your emotional support dog, uh, whatever kind of dog you have, let me know what you struggled the most with in organizing of their stuff. All right, I hope you guys have a great afternoon, evening, morning, <laughs> whenever you guys are watching this and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.